dining gown table. Go ahead, up, up, good boy, sit, good boy, are you ready? Yeah, he's ready, mm, he's a ready baby. Hey there, today we are going to be grooming an Australian Shepherd. Um, this is Barkley, <laughs> what a good boy. <laughs> He is probably like a year or two old and I've been grooming him since he was a little puppy. So he is an excellent boy. He loves to be groomed. He loves to get a bath and get a haircut. Um, and today I'm going to show you how we accomplish that. And, and I'll give you a little tips if you have an Australian Shepherd on how to keep them brushed and clean and yeah, well groomed. Okay, so every time that I groom a dog that has a super thick coat or a double coat or something, sometimes it's hard to scrub and get the soap all the way down onto the skin, which is really how you're gonna clean them. You really wanna get to the skin. Um, so I have like a little knobby brush like this. <laughs> I have a little knobby brush and I just kind of, it helps me work the shampoo right into the skin gives them a little bit of a massage, they don't mind it, um, and it really helps get the dog super, super clean. So that's a good trick to, to get when you're washing your dog. You can either put the shampoo right onto the, the knobby brush, or you can put it in your hands, rub it in, and then I work it into the coat, then I take the brush and make sure it gets down to the skin. He's all clean. He's all shaking around. Shake it off. His hair's all crazy. <laughs> and now we're gonna blow dry him. Also, when you <laughs> when you have a double coated dog like this, um, you really want to make sure you blow dry them really, really well because it gets all that dead coat. Look how sweet he is. He's so cute. I love you. I know. It gets all that dead loose coat off. So, like, if you notice that your dog's shedding a lot sometimes, it just really needs a good clean and blow out and it'll get rid of all that loose coat. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so now that we are all dry, I blow dried Barkley. He's all nice and clean. Clean and dry. Right, kiddo? I'm gonna brush his hair. I got a lot of dead coat out. I don't know if you could see. Let me see if there's any <laughs> hair balls on the floor. Yeah, like all that 
it's hard to see, but I have like a bunch of little hairballs from him. He didn't shed too badly, but he gets groomed very often, so a lot of the hair that would be built up, I get out every other month. I'm, I'm grooming him, so he's getting all of his dead coat uh, removed when I groom him. So right now we are going to brush him out and then I'm gonna trim like his butt area. So if you could see this, kind of gets like nappy and crazy looking. I'm gonna trim that up and on his little paws, I call them, um, let me see if I can focus here. I call these like little Grinch feet. See these little hairy feet? I'm gonna clean them up. So I'll show you how I clean him up a little bit, but basically he's almost done. He just got his bath and, you know, blow dry, and now he's going to be trimmed up. Okay, so this is the kind of brush that I use. It's a long pin slicker. Um, that really will get down to the skin, and then I will follow it up with a fine comb tooth metal comb. you brush with your slicker brush it will catch any uh, snags or not snags it'll catch any knots it'll snag on the knot uh, it's anything that I've missed with the brush this will pick it up so like see I just brushed and now I have all this like loose hair that I'm pulling out All this hair that I just got this is just from brushing his neck and then the comb also picked up so I brushed with this first you got all this out and then I went through with the comb and it still pulled out extra dead coat which is really good um, and now it's no longer on him which is healthy for his coat and yeah so he will be all good I'm now gonna cut his nails and shave his pads Nail trimmer, shaver to shave his pants. Shear if you're scared with the regular scissors. Um, then I go from behind, see if there's anything poking out. You really just want to follow the silhouette of the dog's foot. 
this is going up. Then I put the foot down and I brush and then I just I follow the the shape of the foot. Clean up anything that's poking out. And that's it. And that gets rid of your little Grinch toes. It's pretty easy. You can always like brush in different directions to see if anything pokes out. But yeah. And that gives you a cleaner looking foot compared to this little grinchy hairy foot. Looks neater. So I'm just going to do the same on all of his feet. Brush it up. Sometimes their dew claws have a little bit of extra hair. He actually doesn't have dew claws anymore, but. It's gonna go from behind. Get anything poking out from behind so it doesn't get dirty. And he's walking on the ground. Put it down. I pick up this foot so he shifts the weight and then the hair, if there's anything, it'll poke out. If that makes any sense. <laughs> but. brush a couple of different directions and clean up the outside silhouette. Okay, now we are at the back of Barkley. <laughs> um, I just want to show you, sometimes they get like these little floofs back here. I mostly keep these type of dogs on the natural side, like so I won't take too much of this off. I just clean it up so it doesn't get full of mud and dirt and stuff like that. Um, I just kind of trim it to make it neat, but I'm not gonna totally get rid of it because his parents like the natural, like, natural coat on this dog. So they don't want it to look too manicured. They want him to look how he's supposed to look, but clean up a little bit. Because sometimes when you leave the feet hair long and like I shaved the pads out here, this had kind of like long hair like he does on the front of the toes. I just kind of shave that out because it gets muddy when it's nasty and it gets wet and it just, it starts to stink when it's dirty in there and it's just not really needed. So I clean that up on almost every single dog that I groom. They have long toe hair, just gets the dirt stuck in it and you don't really want that. And as for his butt hair now, so let me put you up. A little bit okay so I just keep it more on the natural side like I said his owners like the natural Aussie but it's nice and full but sometimes like if he has a loose poop or something it'll get a little messy in here so I'm just gonna trim it a little bit so it's a little less bushy but keep it pretty uh, natural So I'm really just gonna keep brushing and then I just clean up the edges. So I'll brush it out and whatever's sticking out like crazy, I just clean it up.
not do anything fancy. Just cleaning up some of the stragglies just to make it look a little cleaner. And I see how this side is a little bit more cleaner. Not too much, but this has a little bit of like fluffy here. I'm just gonna clean this one up too. Just give it a little shape. That's his little butt. <laughs> and then sometimes for like under his belly and his legs here, I I just trimmed like right here in his legs. They're pretty natural, they like it pretty natural. Sometimes his stomach here gets a little wispy. Sometimes I'll just clean it up a little bit. Um, just the edges, just to neaten it up. But they like it long and natural, so I just kind of trying to get a good clip of this but Let's see what the other side yeah hard to see stay just getting the edge cleaning it up a little Boy Barkley. Okay. All right. Okay, so that is really it. We just bathed them, dried them, de shedded them, brushed them out, got all that hair off of them, and trimmed up his little feet and kind of trimmed up his coat just a little bit all over, but kept them very natural. And he's done. He's a fresh, clean Aussie. <laughs> or Australian Shepherd, I should say. Their nickname is Aussies. But, yeah. And now he's ready to go. He wants to go and see his mommy, right? Right, Barkley? He's such a good boy. Okay, you guys. That is it. That's how I groom an Australian Shepherd. I'm going to go bring Barkley back inside to his mom. And I will catch you next time. Bye.